And this is Science with Plato. Layers of the earth. completely solid. It's made of iron and nickel, which um, are metals, and it is about 5,000 to 6,000 um, kilometers below the Earth's surface. It has about a radius of about 1,200 kilometers, and it reaches temperatures to about 5,000 to 6,000 degrees Celsius. Throw your hands up and let's discuss the inner core, outer core, mantle, and crust. Um, the temperature is 4,030 degrees Celsius to 5,730 degrees Celsius. Um, it's a liquid layer, kind of unlike the inner core, it's a liquid layer this time, not a solid. Um, it's made out of iron and nickel, and it's 5,150 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface. And this layer is 2,260 kilometers thick. The layer we'll discuss first is the central inner core in the center of the earth A solid ball buried below the dirt We believe it's primarily metallic iron You can never take a trip to the inner core right The heat will burn you up 9,000 Fahrenheit So this is the earth's mantle and it is between 500 and 900 degrees Celsius Which is about 900 and 1600 degrees Fahrenheit And it is made of, of ultramathic rock called uh, paradise Paradite. <laughs> um, its state is a solid and it is uh, 2,900 degrees or kilometers below the Earth's surface and it's about 1,800 miles thick, which is pretty crazy. Miles below the Earth's crust, one down, three to go, y'all. 1,800 miles from the tip top. The outer core is hard at work and it don't stop. It's busy spinning around the inner core. This steady movement causes Earth's magnetism. Ranging from 4 to 9,000 degrees, it contributes one fifth of the heat. Okay, this layer is the crust, which is around 22 degrees Celsius. The crust is a solid, which is very convenient because then we'd have to swim everywhere. It has two layers, the oceanic crust and the continental crust. The oceanic crust is made up of iron, silicon, magnesium, and aluminum. And the continental crust is made up of granite, sedimentary, and metamorphic rock. The continental crust is about 8 kilometers to 70 kilometers thick, and the oceanic crust is about 8 kilometers thick. To you and me, it's liquid metal, the violently flow. So let it settle when you're ready, let me know. Just throw your hands up for the layers of the earth. Throw them up for what's below the surface. Throw your hands up and let's discuss the inner Okay, let's see what happens when we split the earth open. Okay, so in the red we have our inner core, the blue we have our outer core, the yellow is our mantle, and the green is our crust. Okay. Okay, so within the mantle, we have two different spheres. One's the lithosphere, and one is the athenosphere. The lith lithosphere is going to be in the upper mantle, and the athenosphere is going to be in the lower mantle. Throw your hands up for the layers of the earth. Throw them up for what's below the surface. Throw your hands up. 